Hello and welcome back to the Film Club, the club where we just talk about films that we've been watching. As always, leave a comment down below what have you been watching, what you've been enjoying. If you've seen the film that we're about to talk about, let me know what you thought. I went through so many different stages coming up to the Flash's release of being excited, then not being excited, that I just didn't know what to expect. When I saw trailers, I was not excited at all. Then I saw a bunch of people hyping it up on TikTok and I was actually really excited. Then I saw some of the shots and clips that were being released on Twitter and I wasn't excited again. Regardless, I went into watching it with sort of a fresh mind of not knowing what to expect at at all and for the most part I had a really good time. I will say it was genuinely overhyped by people on TikTok however in my personal opinion I think this is a top 10 potentially top 5 comic book movie if the CGI was sorted. The CGI in this film is uh, some parts incredible at some parts abysmal and the worst we've seen in any film in years. Comedy and dialogue writing wise this film was actually really good I genuinely really enjoyed it I enjoyed the world that it created as well with the Justice League at the beginning I'm not going to touch on the drama with Ezra Miller because it's been spoken to death about I just want to enjoy this film as a Flash fan as someone who enjoys the character I used to love the TV show and I wanted to just enjoy this film regardless of social political things but overall Overall, I just thought that this was fun. If you can put your mind past the CGI, it's fun. And honestly, probably one of the better solo movies that DC and the Justice League sort of world has released. And by that I mean not the Batman and not the Joker. <laughs> the whole intro and beginning acting scene of The Flash is probably the best part about the film. They did something that Marvel have never done which is incorporate all the superheroes into the world. You've got Alfred calling him up saying hey there's this that needs doing can you come help? And he's like where's Batman? Batman's on a different mission which we get to see. Wonder Woman's busy. Clark Kent's not picking up. And seeing The Flash just do civil servant acts of saving a building falling down. It's not a world ending threat. It's not a massive villain it's just he needs to help out and it's actually really nice to see that happen in a superhero film it's not something we've seen maybe ever in a Marvel film I'm not entirely sure but the way they did it cutting between him and Batman as well I thought was brilliant the speeds to scene when he starts running and the text comes up at the bottom the CG on that is incredible the way it like stretches out and he runs oh my god that was beautiful and then the way everything slows down and he's like jumping through all the things to get the babies that well that could have been good if it wasn't for the the, the babies genuinely that that whole scene would have been a top 10, possibly top 5 comic book movie moment if the CG on the babies wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. It looked like something out of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. It, it, it was so glossed over and soft and I just don't understand how anybody in the studio watched that and thought that that was acceptable and the directors come out saying that the CG of The Flash is supposed to be like that because it's supposed to be how he sees it when he's moving fast and all the textures are soft but I just think that's a load of rubbish because the babies you literally see at one point when he's saved all the babies and they're on the bed the, he picks one up and it goes to back to being a normal baby but then he goes to put it back down and it turns into a, a, a in, into a cartoon smooth baby and so he's not any speeds to stay there so what's the excuse for the babies looking god awful I don't know but if you can ignore the CG that scene is absolutely stellar it's incredible when he starts to go back in time the CG in that is abysmal it's like I don't understand how it could be that bad the rest of it was cool him running in and seeing him in like that blue space type universe but the, when they start showing all the characters and the timelines it's just awful it is terrible. You could have just green screened the pe the actual people. There is the actual people who are in this film, but they decided to just make a CG cartoon version of them. It makes no sense. I did think that they'd done this on purpose artistically, but I also just can't excuse it because it's just it's just lazy. I actually did really enjoy the whole Flash and Flash sort of vibe. Having the two of them, they worked really well on screen and it sort of matured the current Flash a little bit more. The comedy between the two was actually really good. The, the comedy in this whole film the fl of the Flash was actually like I thought it was really good it landed really well I actually laughed a fair few of the times but their dynamic was really well and despite the controversy I did think Ezra Miller did a, a good job with these having the two jobs of two characters and having them well defined as a younger version of himself and an older version I just thought it worked really well Michael Keaton as the Batman I mean he actually he was probably one of the best bits about this film I, I, I sort of expected it to be a really good part of the film but seeing him older and he's sort of like Gotham doesn't need me anymore so I'm not I'm not a part of it but having him step back into the shoes and having him involved I just thought he was great and honestly some of the scenes with Batman were some of the best scenes we've 
scene of Batman. We've never seen Batman in action like that, apart from maybe Batman vs Superman. But when they go and save Clara and he's just flying around and oh my god, it was a brutal Batman. I loved it. That whole sequence of going to see who they think is Clark Kent and it turns out to be Clara, I thought that was done fantastically. I thought when she finally gets her powers back from the sun, gets regenerated and just starts absolutely destroying people. The CG in that bit was brilliant. I, I just thought that was mint. I loved that. The, the brutality of her just beat him up. I was like, this girl is OP. And then Batman getting involved as well. I just thought that whole bit was brilliant. And that's why it makes me sad that the CG is so good in some parts of this film. But I can't feel like I can praise the CG of the film. Because in other parts, it's the worst ever. The final battle against Zod's army. I just wish it wasn't on a Minecraft desert plane. What? Like, I don't get the point of that. Probably makes it easier and you get to see more explosions and fighting. But to me, it just would have been more interesting to see it in a city where there's actually buildings coming down or people involved and uh, it just felt a little bit bland and safe. Apart from that, the CG I thought was going to be terrible from clips I'd seen on Twitter, but it was actually decent. There were some good moments in it where the two feet come together and they just make an explosion of electricity. I thought that was fantastic. When they start to realise everything's going wrong, Batman dies, Clara dies, and they have to go back in time and try again, but they realise that it doesn't work. This is a set point in time that is always going to happen. It's almost like the canon events that we've seen Marvel dealing with. And I thought they handled it really well, seeing the, the, the whole reveal of Ezra being the guy who knocked him out of the... I kind of expected that. It was a little bit predictable, but I mean, I don't see how else they could have done anything more with that. My only little criticism of that is that Barry doesn't really seem to care that someone's come through the time dimension and knocked him out of it at the beginning. He doesn't seem to remember that that happened and then he shows up at the end and they deal with it. The cameos, I just thought they could have done some way better cameos at the end. When the, the world starts to reveal and we get to see... To be <laughs> Nick, Nick Cage as Superman could have been brilliant, but I can't excuse the awful CGI that was on his face. I don't get why it looked so bad, but that could have been a brilliant one. But having the original Superman come in, I mean, I've seen some controversy with that, that the family didn't want it, but they own the rights, so they did it anyway. I don't really like that. I thought you could have done something more, like have the TV show Flash guy as the Flash, because he's a really good Flash. Everyone loves him as the Flash. You could have just had him show up, and it would have been really cool. So for me, between awful CGI controversy and to be honest just more awful CGI I couldn't enjoy the final part of the film where there's all these cameos and uh, I don't know it just felt a little bit flat for me. The ending of The Flash though when we think oh everything's fine everything's back to normal to be honest when he did that he changes the suit can to the top shelf and uh, he saves his dad I did sort of think well surely you're on a different timeline then regardless of if it's a minor change or not he is still changing the universe that he's in. And so when Batman comes out, it's George Clooney. Does this mean that in the next film where The Flash or Aquaman 2, if Batman shows up in Aquaman 2, is it going to be George Clooney? Because if it is, that's I kind of rate that. <laughs> I don't know, it was just such a weird film, honestly. All I can think about is the CG with The Flash. I just I just can't see past it. I wanted to really love this film because it was so enjoyable. It felt fresh, something that Marvel hadn't really done before. I know they're doing all their multiverse stuff, but just the whole vibe of the film felt different and it feels like something that Marvel need to do. It breaks that whole thing of like, on a solo Marvel film and we're all like, well, where's the other guys? It just isn't a question that Marvel ever answers and for this, it did in the beginning and I loved it. The vibe of the film and the comedy of the film I just wanted this to be really good and it was really good a apart from the CG can't see past how awful it was but I gen I'm so conflicted because I loved the film and I hated the CG but the CG in some parts is beautiful I loved it so I don't I don't know where I stand with this film it messes with my head anyway what did you think of the flash let me know in the comments and I will see you next time for the film club